Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about how you can create reusable pop-up for your Power Apps. Pop-up is one of the most important functionality for any Power Apps developer. So let's say for an example, you have delete functionality implemented in your app and you need the confirmation pop-up that do you want to delete this record? You can create one configurable pop-up where we have OK and cancel button and you can write any event on top of your button as well as the header of the pop-up is also configurable. So in this episode, we will talk about this A to Z procedure in detail. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have opened power apps on my machine. Now, sometimes there is a need where we need to create some reusable pop-up. So let's say for an example, here I have one delete functionality. But before implementing delete, I need a feature that if someone clicks on delete, basically it will open the confirmation pop-up that do you want to really delete this item? If yes, only at that time they can delete the thing. Now, in order to create that thing, we need to create one pop-up in our Power Apps. There are different ways to create the pop-up. You have seen many articles on the internet to create the pop-up. Most of the time what we are doing is, we are taking the rectangle control, we are just adding one overlay behind the scene and we are just creating the different button and label control and create a pop-up. So that is the traditional way of doing that. Now let's say in your Power Apps, you have 20 screen and on 10 screen you wanted to implement the similar functionality. So will you do the same operation again and again everywhere? The answer is absolutely no. You can create your component and that component can be used everywhere. So in this episode, we will talk about the reusable component where everything is configurable. So let's get started. So to create the component, first of all, you need to open your web.powerapps.com and you need to create the component. So I'm going to click on app section and go to the component libraries. We are going to use this component libraries which are in preview at this moment. Let's click on create new component library. And over here, I'm just creating a component called confirmation pop-up. Confirm pop-up. Confirm pop-up for YouTube. And click on create. This will open the blank screen like this. Now we can create our component inside over here. So same procedure we need to follow for confirmation pop-up. Let's take one rectangle. So I'm going to go to the shape and click on one rectangle control. I'm just placing this control properly on the screen. Just dragging. Let's change the color as in this type of color or maybe the gray color like this okay and now let's provide a border as two and let's create the border type as dash so it will looking nice like this okay so this is the um, looking nice so outer design is ready let's just shrink the size a bit and place it in the center okay now you need to add one label for the header so let's add one label control just shrink it to size and add here and let's make its alignment as center and change the font as bold okay and we need to add two buttons like one for ok and another is for cancel so let's add two buttons copy and paste okay now change the label name as ok and here as sorry here we need to have cancel and here it is ok right let's change the font size of the text font size is 18 same here 18 ok so the pop-up is ready now let's change the color OK button should be green and this button is should be red. OK. All right. Now 
let's say this message is configurable so let's say in you are using the component into five different app so possibility there should be the message different every time so we need to configure the input property of the component so need to select here go to your component select this component let's rename this component first so pop up confirm okay now let's select it and what we need to do here is we just need to go to the custom property and let's add one input property called header message okay and just select the property type as input and click on create okay so it has created this input property for that the event code also is something which is to be configurable so for that we need to create one behavior property and do that click on the setting go to the upcoming feature and search for enhance component properties and turn it on and once you turn it on when you try to create a new custom property you will be able to see the third option behavior property okay so let's provide the behavior property so behavior is something like custom event we can say so on ok button we want to, to define our custom event on ok click so let's define that on ok click and click on create and from here type as text okay let's create that and same way we need to create on cancel click okay and from here select the behavior and type as text and click on create okay so we define two custom event now we need to add those custom event on the button so we need to select ok button and we need to register the event that we just created okay behavior property so on select event we need to consider it as on ok click so we need to type the component name that is popup confirm this is our component name popup confirm dot on ok click All right so whatever we, you will write there it will execute on select of the button same way on cancel click pop-up confirm dot on cancel click okay so just register your behavior property on the on select event of the button and then let's configure the text box so select the text box and text property we need to configure so over here we need to consider pop up confirm dot header text that is the input property right header message all right okay great now if we go to our component and if we want to provide any default message so we can click here and on a header message let's provide instead of text some preview are you sure you want to delete let's provide this as a default text so it is looking like this let's decrease the font size to 18 and it is looking nice now okay so the pop-up is ready now for overlay you can give some color in the background but before that let's make a group of this component right click on that and click on group so it is grouped into one section okay now let's go here and just provide some fill so i'm just providing the fill like this okay so it looks nice now save the component so i'm just clicking on save and you need to publish your component okay so that's done now if you are changing anything let's say I'm just I just uh, do some change and when I try to save I need to basically update the component again so make sure that you publish your component every time okay perfect so we are good to create the component now the thing is that now I want to use this component inside my app as a reusable component so I will go to my app now I am going to insert button and clicking on get more components so over here we would be able to see the component that we just created okay so let's wait for a few minutes so this is confirm pop-up yt this is the component we published okay 
so it should be appearing over here so let's try to refresh it but it is taking some time in order to reflect maybe five minutes so let me meantime let me just save this app and close this one and reopen it so now i resumed my app again now i am going to click on this icon and clicking on add more component and here we are you can see the confirm pop-up that we created it is appearing here so let's expand that and let's add that component into the app so it is looking like this and it has added under the library component now let's add that component onto my screen and this is looking like this right so it looks cool now what we need to do here is obviously like uh, we need to open this pop-up so for that uh, basically we need this functionality on the delete so let's remove it from here let's go to our detail screen and over here we need that okay so i'm just adding here and obviously the overlay and something which you can you know implement according to your app height and all so basically you need to simply select the height of your app and you know you can just implement accordingly so you can drag and drop like this and this will looking like this so it will look the overview like this and this is the event okay and let's say now i want to configure like i don't need this message i need this message like are you sure so i can simply change it from here so it's like a component property input property okay and now i need to configure my on click and on cancel click okay so now what i'm doing here is temporarily i am just having the visible condition of this component as false so i can copy and paste the code from the here so over here i have delete button code so i need to copy this delete code from here okay so i am just cutting this code from here i am just going to my page property this is the hidden component we created uh, on ok click i need to delete that so i am pasting the same code over here so it will delete that okay and what i am doing here is like when we click on delete on select i am going to maintain one variable call update context show pop up and let's make its property as true okay uh, it will open this up i'm copying this and i'm just going here and on visible of this component let's provide that variable okay and same way on click on cancel click i'm just hiding that so on cancel click also i need to type update context and inside that show pop-up value is false because i just want to hide that pop-up okay so i'm just doing that okay it's done perfect all right so we are ready let's test it so i click on delete it is opening me this pop-up i click on cancel it cancelled me up when i click again and i'm if i'm clicking that it will delete that record okay so ok click is also working and after ok basically we need to just navigate ourselves so basically let's copy this code show pop-up should be false right after this so let's add one line of code here as well perfect okay so now everything will work fine okay so this is how you can simply create your reusable component all right so hope this video helps you and values your time now today i'm giving you one assignment just use this behavior property create one innovative pop-up tag my official linkedin or twitter account in your post whatever you have created with some nice user interface and just tag me to my twitter or linkedin account and five lucky winners will get a shout out from my instagram page as well as youtube video also i will give the certificate of appreciation to them so just do the creativity and tag my account if you find this video helpful make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation let's work together here is the website or if you wanted to follow me on all my social media handle these are the link 
I created another channel for short content on Power Platform. Subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Throvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.